so we have HQ. Q isn't actually an element, so HQ is a made up weak acid. Um, we know it's weak because it's not something we memorize, it's not on our list of strongs. We can assume it's an acid because it starts with H. Um, regardless of everything they give me, as soon as I know I have a weak acid, I can dissociate, ice chart, and write my Ka expression. Always do that first. So taking HQ and dissociating it, it's weak, so I use equilibrium arrows. And H plus falls off, that leaves me with a Q minus on the other side. We know it's 1.75 molar. Minus X, we can assume doesn't matter because it's barely dissociating since it's a weak acid. They didn't give us initial values for H and Q, so they must be zero, meaning we're going up and ending up with X. My Ka is products over reactants or x times x, x squared, over 1.75, and that is my Ka. And then I realize that because HQ is made up, it's not on the chart. I don't have a Ka value I can plug in. So I started the same way, but then I realize the only other piece of information I have is its percent dissociation. So let's pretend we did know what x was, that we were able to solve this for x and I asked you to find its percent dissociation. You'd say, okay, well its percent is going to be the amount that went away over whatever I started with times 100. <coughs> How many of you just said bless you out loud? Okay, times 100. Um, so how much it dissociates, how much it went away out of how much we could have dissociated times 100. Well, I know that its percent dissociation is 0.04. So I can use this as a formula, or sorry, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. I did not move the decimal at all. Um, moving the decimal would mean I didn't have this times 100 here. So I couldn't do anything with my Ka, but I was able to figure out this little formula that's going to allow me to solve for x based on my percent dissociation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is divide by 100. That gets rid of this and moves the decimal on this one. Then I can cross multiply and I get 1.75 times 0 0.004. I get 0 0.007 for my X value. The ice chart is here to remind us that X is my H plus. So if I want the pH, as soon as I have my H plus, I'm good to go for part A, pH, is negative log of 0.007. Um, negative log, 0.007, I get a pH of 2.15. Um, pH being less than seven makes sense since we're dealing with an acid. Um, actually, another way we know we're dealing with an acid is I ask you to find Ka. If it were a base, it would say Kb. Um, speaking of which now, part B, we wanna find Ka earlier just on autopilot, I wrote this expression for Ka, I now have an X value that I can plug in. So my Ka is gonna be that X value squared over 1.75. Um, people get on autopilot here and they'll either forget to square this or they'll multiply it by 100. You'll see as you do it after these problems, there are a lot of patterns, but don't fall into those mistakes know that the percent dissociation doesn't have a square in it, because why would it? It doesn't make any sense. And the Ka doesn't have a times 100 in it, because why would it? That doesn't make any sense. Um, anyways, squaring this, dividing by 1.75, I get a Ka value of 2 point, did I not do it here? Hold on, oh, haha, I did it wrong. 0.007 because I used the value of my calculator from before. Squared divided by 1.75. There we go. I'm putting mine in scientific notation. It's okay if yours isn't. I get 2.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, um, which feels right for a Ka value. If you look at that chart, um, we tend to be times 10 to the negative something. Okay, okay.